Yaman, yeah, evening. What's going on? I'm out here at uh, Ruger's Run for round 11, uh, Mountain State Hair Scramble. We're getting down to the nitty gritty where uh, points probably start mattering for a lot of people and maybe not for some. But uh, so let's see. This weekend they have uh, Saturday is bikes and Sunday's ATV. They're going to also have P Dub, which is going to be uh, Power Wheels with the uh, Stasix. Not at the same time. Um, Richie said, but um, they're going to have the little P-Dub kids and Stay Six. Uh, they're going to have two different little races, so it gives a chance for the little kids to get out and uh, rip up the little P-Dubs. So uh, bring out the P-Dubs and race them. It's just for kids, not for adults, right? The P-Dubs not for adults, right? Right. right. Okay, so P-Dubs not for adults, so uh, just for the kids. <laughs> it would be cool, but... Um, all right, so let's see. Uh, we're out here at, uh, like I said, Ruger's Run, round 11. Let's uh, kick it. See, uh, we've had a lot of rain, uh, not really hard rain, some rain and some misty and some stuff, but come Saturday and uh, Sunday, it should just be prime. Uh, the fields look really nice, so it should be really, ni it should be really good. So let's check it out. <laughs> Look back, I actually uh, rode my trials bike here last year. I rode the trials bike, and uh, so here's the start. Like I said, they haven't finished up, they're finishing up. Always come out early, so you're gonna have this uh, swoop like normal. It's always the fun part of uh, uh, starting is coming around and uh, doing the whole, doing whole shots and stuff. And then uh, from here, you're gonna shoot down. Like I said, this will be lined up, and it'll take you to the woods. We're going to be coming in, he said, into about the 8 mile mark, so, um, which will bypass the finish, the first lap. I don't know if you guys remember, last year it was, uh, it had, I forget, it had a little bit of, it had some mud one day, I can't remember, but uh, I know there was a hill climb, which Richie said we're going backwards this time and there was one mean hill climb going down and there was a good one going up but it was kind of slick and wet so uh hopefully this year it's, uh, it's, it's dried out some so oh uh, here's these dogs that uh, i saw earlier that they may uh follow me around for a while what's up Boots? sorry sun's in the face Like I said, we're gonna jump in right here around the eight and uh, take this to the finish. Bypass the finish. Oh, wrong gear. There he is. And uh, so this is just kind of a pit area right here and stuff. So. Before you come finishing or whatever, you can hit the pits, second, third lap, fourth lap. Oh, it's going to be kind of wet, but it's not too bad. So, uh, you're going to come up and uh, hit the finish right over here and then come back on the track, but we're going to bypass it like we would in the first lap. are going to be like you know there's got to be some wet spots and other things in there but i always hit the track too when it's fresh so there's no really you know i'm riding on leaves and fresh mud and dirt that's you know washed in through the air but once this gets uh well that's right because bike's on saturday but still you're going to have some you know some grooves and stuff oh yeah this is the one that crosses the street so uh youth uh micro just before the street will stay on this side so if anybody's curious about that 
it'll head out the barn and then head down as the youth and uh, adults we're going to come across the street hard right hand turn been mainly riding on grass and uh, leaves right now but looks like it's got kind of a kind of a wet base to it so uh, yeah, I'm anxious to see this one hill climb because I remember last year it was pretty damn steep. And uh, I messed up on my trials bike one time going up it. And uh, I sat there and kind of watched a bunch of people. And then I went up the second time, no problem. But uh, it was rocky. It was. I remember it just being rocky too. All right, so here we got a little bit of water. But come uh, Saturday, peel out in those uh, other areas there so that was an uphill then right back into a another downhiller but like this where the sun's hitting for this evening it's really dried it out so probably will expect some dust come at least Sunday and probably some by Saturday I'm not a weather man so I can't tell you but. So this is going in uh, to the first mile mark for the first mile or so. Oh, big log. Whoa, shit. <laughs> Sorry for my language, but uh, yeah, I did not see that washout right there. <laughs> first big down here, or what was that second maybe? Watch it. Okay, so I'm not, uh, right back there might have been where you split off. Because I'm only seeing red. So I was trying to pay attention what was ahead. Got some water so yeah it looks like uh, right there in that first mile uh, the youth jump on or jump on with uh, covered with leaves as it should be with fall coming deer hunting sorry if I'm uh, messing up anybody but I could be uh, I could be running them some deer to them if they want a couple does look like a doe maybe a fawn yearling all right so that was a little downhill so obviously we're looking at just a little bit over an eight mile track it's weird I've become more uh, a little bit more adept on the quad this year than I have on the bike uh, than previous years I started feeling really really comfortable out here alright so we got a long field section 
like I said, I didn't grow up riding this kind of terrain. I was more out in the desert, out in the, uh, kind of like the soil of South Carolina kind of stuff. My dreams and things of that nature. But coming back here, like I said, uh, I rode a little bit and then kids and then, you know, took me off a bike for a while and then got back on it and then off and then back on. <laughs> Alright, so here we got a little, this isn't the one, it's not too bad of a hill right here. I was trying to see what was uh, underneath, underneath the, um, the leaves. Yeah, because the last uh, race I went, I uh, filmed, I was on the little 110 and uh, it's got some rocks and stuff here. Little 110 and hit a rock in that grass, fell over, a few people saw me do it. Front of my pants just ripped, big hole in front, so luckily I had a pair of jeans in there and uh, had to wear the jeans the rest of the day. But, All right, so this, uh, like I said, what do we got here? We got a little uphill right here. I'm gonna get on it, I'm not gonna make it. Oh yeah. The new 125 just ripping. This guy's three stamp. You know, it's a feeder. Oh, there it is. Nice game. All right, so uh, let's see where are we at. Where are we at? Where are we? At? Yeah, Richie had a hard time. Um, he said I should be able to get through here, but he had a hard time on Monday, Tuesday. Pretty much Wednesday was uh, several jumps right there. So be careful. Um, you know, we've had rain down here and. Probably most of the other people had rain, and but uh, so it makes it a little difficult to come out here and set up a trap when it's uh, pouring rain, or you know you can do it, but it's, it's just a mess. So he was able to oh soft spots. Yeah, this track's a lot drier than I was gonna anticipate it already. I was expecting, you know, I was thinking, man, I should maybe bring the quad, I might struggle, you know, but, yeah, no, it's just going to be perfect Saturday. It's probably one of the best track, probably best track conditions, and, uh, uh weather we're probably going to have this year, low 70s, mid 70s, and, uh, a nice, you know, rain surface track, so hopefully it, it did enough. All right, when you come in here off that little field section, watch, it's a hard right. Looks like we got a downhill. This may be the down, this might be the downhill where we're trying to get up. Uh, I can't remember, it kind of looks like, but it was, it was real rocky and stuff. And you kind of had to get a running start to it. Yeah, that kind of looks like it. I don't know, I might be wrong. This track uh, already has a lot of hills. Or a lot of ups and downs, I should say. Considering we are in West Virginia and out by Bunner's Run, uh, which they used to run a uh, GNCC, I think, up there too years ago before they got too big all right so whoa this now this grassy section right here is uh is wet <laughs> it's definitely kept some moisture on this side obviously if there was snow it'd probably be snow on this side it's got some rocks so like i said the, it's up oh, still downhill uh, so this uh, year has gone by fast, man. A lot of stuff happened this year. Ow! Should have wore long sleeves. Briars cut me up. Uh, had a grandkid. 
started kart racing, <laughs> riding a quad. All right, so this is a nice, this is a nice down. Oh, no, this may be, shit, I can't tell. But that was a, that was a long up downhill right here. Oh yeah, this may be, it's, it's kind of rutted out and, See, right now probably wouldn't be too bad but once you get you know and it's rocky it's got roots right here too it's it's a hard uh it was a hard to get your momentum going there last year and like i said i was on a trials bike so <laughs> only one out here on a trials bike i think richie said i might have been the only one that ever done or maybe somebody else has done it one other time but uh i thought that was pretty cool i don't recommend it <laughs> All right, so this back section is definitely uh, got some moisture, some water holes. Bikes obviously can go around them like that. Just be careful, like every track, stay pretty much, you know, within the boundaries, unless bottlenecks or something, and don't start going off to the side. Thank Richie and uh, Sarah and all, and then, uh, everybody that got this track set up early enough for me to try to come out here and get these put up for you a day or two before. Uh... Oh, okay, here we are, two mile mark. Uh, you know, a day or two, so you guys can look at the track and decide. But weather-wise, it's supposed to be nice. And uh, like I said, this track is going to probably be just perfect. Congratulations to him, third overall at uh, John Penn. That's pretty damn cool, standing up on stage, you know. You got Archer and those other, you know, it's kind of like, you're like, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> All right, so this is kind of a little swooping uphill. now is awesome um you know with nexc and mountain stage just riding helping out and uh filming for everybody and everybody enjoying it and all right so it's a little downhill right here to another little flat so it's just kind of carry him down the hill whoa see right there you can't see if under this grass right here until uh until it's too late i keep telling myself i want to put something on my back seat to keep my ass up front and uh ow man right um we're getting all right so that kind of just uh we're just essing down the hill there's a tree that looks like it fell they cut it and uh, didn't go anywhere 
So this uh, little downhill that we're going down now is uh, really hard to see, but uh, it's kind of rocky. If you guys know Bunner Ridge and have ridden this track before, you know it's got some rock texture to it. It's got a little bit of everything. It's obviously different than uh, John Penton, but more like a Beckley or, you know, maybe not as bad as Beckley. But yeah, it's got some rocks. So that we're, we're just still carrying them down, uh, down this downhill. This would be wicked probably if it was really, really wet. Now what we got here? A little downhill across. Oh, that's beautiful too down here. So got this little stream we're crossing. Oh, we may be coming to the big uphill. I can't remember, but last year I was on my, uh, I was on my, uh, <laughs> Charles bike and my ass was clear up front, brakes pushing, feet out, you know, front left foot out, just trying to get some, uh, some stoppage, but, uh, all right, let's do it. I'm going to probably concentrate more than talk, so, pass this gas pipe right here. So, uh, yeah, didn't make it. <laughs> All right. I would try the right side, but it's got more rocks on it and stuff. I just didn't hit it right this time. Took some air in the back of my tire. I don't know. Third time's a charm. Hopefully. was within a uh, mile. I knew that hill climb was gonna be a, a bitch. I hit it better this time and hopefully uh letting the air out of my tires a little bit watch your head helped out Woo, that was a good hill climb for you West Virginia boys, probably nothing, but 125 up that hill. Yeah, that's a good go climb. <laughs> All right, so uh, kind of just heading back down. Trying to catch my breath. So we're hitting the three mile mark. Soft rock. 
Rocky though. He's got a good base. Man, first time in track. Track preview went down three times. I should have had that last one perfectly, but... Oh, watch this rock. Whoa! I should say rocks right there. Big rocks. So yeah, just want to... Uh, kind of a little grassy. Thank everybody for... Uh, and this year and stuff and I just wish my uh, channel did a little better this year you know I know people watching stuff but you get you know 2,000 views or likes or views and you got like 24 likes you know <laughs> like wow 1,000 and uh, 76 people didn't like it, and 24 did. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Next year, uh, gonna have to do some thinking what I want to do. Alright, so that was a little turn downhill. A uh, little us little little creek crossing with a little uphill but on the right side I see a rock right here. Let's try it, screw it. I've already fallen. Test my endurance. Test my endurance. Right up it. Alright. So this section's got some big rocks and stuff. See, man, they just disappear. Great ghost. Alright, so, uh. Whoa! Another good little uphill. <laughs> but I think uh, helping taking the air pressure. I don't run a moose, so. Uh, oh, another deer. I'm seeing a nice big buck out there. All right, so uh, continuing on this fresh grass section. A little downhill S turn. So we got a left hand turn. So be 
careful. Keep your balance. After the race, how many uh, make it on the first time up that hill climb? All right, so we got uh, four miles. We're still kind of on this back little tram road. This is gonna be a nice little uh, low east fast track, except for the couple sections I have problems with. But everything else has been real nice. Challenge, you know. So it is cross country. We are in West Virginia. It is hills, <laughs> hills and rocks, cold trees. All right, where am I going? Okay, I'm going right. You just going left. All right, so we're gonna head back down to the right. Some roots and uh, some rocks. This is after the four mile marker. Some more grass. A little off camper, not bad, but. Mainly kind of flat. Especially for a bike, quad might be a little. on Facebook but I was watching a video and uh, I think I'm friends with him. He's hunting in a tree stand and he had like a mom and three sows come up to him underneath his stand and shit. Uh, Alright so we got back here from pretty ass dry. This section must be getting hit with the sun a lot. Uphill. funky uh little back and forth kind of things right there definitely keep your momentum uh, i took the high line <laughs> now or so and you know I just wish it would have kind of doubled this year or something with my subscribers and, uh, you know like I said uh, different options coming up different things and we'll see it's just a lot of time effort uh, to money you know I mean most people do one video I'm doing Six to eight. Uh, all eight groups. You know, so try that sometime on a 30 minute video with maybe 130 clips. And just editing, exporting, uploading. <laughs> There's just one video an hour, you know, then I'm just cutting off so much stuff. And, I just, I hate that stuff, but I try to get kids to see as many times as I can, except just one time come around, you know. Especially GNCC. Uh, you know, amateurs, we make up 95% of it, and, uh, you know, they may show you in the background somewhere. But, uh, yeah another reason why I started my channel and try to get, you know, especially these local events. Keep these things 
going, man, especially for kids. Get them out of the computers, get them off stuff, you know, get them out here. Uh, make kids strong again. <laughs> Surfing, you're going through a tube right here, and then make a hard left. Is there a hard left? Fresh cut. Okay, there you go. Richie told me too they're going to come out more uh, this evening and stuff and put out arrows and uh, finish up stuff. But so no complaining. You guys will have enough errors. You've seen my clips and then you've seen the races and, uh, you know, we haven't found anybody in the next county. So we're going up there and back down. Oh, so we're missing that log. Kind of doing a loopy loop up around that fallen tree. this out to uh, a nice open hill. And once you cross that field, it's uh, obviously a hard left and you will see the five mile marker. So we got about three more miles left. Thanks for everybody coming out and uh, enjoying my uh, my crashes. I'll clip them out so you can't see them. No. <laughs> I show everything, man. I show... It's my clips. I show everybody. Show the track guys, people on the side if they want to say hi or whatever. All the racers, you know. You look back at this stuff 20 years later and be like, oh Jesus. <laughs> kind of glad we didn't have phones and stuff back when I was in high school. I look back at my pictures and stuff and just like, oh no. <laughs> Alright, so this was that was just a little less kind of turn to a grass section. Looks like we got some uh, fresh cut with a little crossover. We'll be picking up the uh, micros here pretty soon. Next mile or so. Don't forget, uh, P Dubs is uh, it's not Power Wheels. It's the uh, it's the P Dub bikes for kids. So make sure you get that straight. Otherwise, it'd be called the Barbie Jeep race, I think. So. Um, I think I saw some things that some people were saying it was power wheels or something a while ago with PW events. So I don't know if anybody's ever straightened it up, but uh, I had to get a clear uh, answer from Richie myself on what that means so I didn't uh, I didn't mess up anything. Like I normally can do when I'm, when I'm narrating and crashing. So it's a little downhill to a definitely rutted out section that's uh, fresh dose. Nice. Watch your head. Watch the axis. Yeah, that one was 
Look at him. Ah. Save blood, sweat, and tears out here for you guys. Oh man. My arms are just healing up. I started to quit looking like a damn heroin addict. <laughs> Alright, uh. Oh, it's nice and cool though. All right, so this little tight section, got some uh, roots. Another grass, a little downhill. Not bad, just a four-wheeler trail. Oh! Little ditch, some water. Hopefully my camera's making it. Watch some of those, uh, oh, that's on the line right there. Watch some of those, uh, those slick gray areas. It's got a fresh cut. First lap, maybe until it starts grooving in. So at the starting line, hopefully it won't be around this weekend, but there's a lot of gnats. So uh, bring your uh, bug repellent. Might be that gnat time of season because we just got some rain. Everything's starting to uh, spawn. Or, uh, uh, whoa. All right, a little fast downhill. That looks like a little swooper. You can't see around the turn. Alright, and uh, right back up. Man, that one last weekend was awesome at uh, Penn. I had a good time. Uh, first lap, a little slick, you know. Second, third laps really started to, to uh, wipe all that off and get really pen, uh, pen -ness. <laughs> this little uh, oh, camelback. Little up and down section. Uh, but man, on a quad, I tell you what, I couldn't imagine what those bike guys went through. Well, I did watch it and I, I saw what they went through, but, um, all right, so we're at the six mile. Make sure I got still camera going. Yep. Uh, but yeah, on a quad, I tell you what, uh, it's just fun slinging that around in the mud and totally different perspective in the mud on, than on a bike with a, a quad. It's just a, uh, like I said, the bottlenecks and stuff suck. It gets hard to get around, but otherwise, for me, uh, you know, it's just, this is night and day sometimes riding a bike compared to a quad. But uh, definitely, oh. that was a good hill climb. So we definitely got a lot of, uh, a lot of hill climbs there, Michael Van Gilder. They're up for uh, a lot of hill climbs and stuff, so. I know he likes the hills. I went to on the utility quad. I don't know that one hill I went up on the bike would still make my pucker string pull on the quad. Uh, whoa! Slick back there. See, there's probably conditions where you would have liked to have the quads go first and kind of blow this top section off. like when all these leaves and stuff are just starting to fall, you know. Most of the time, most of the trails are pretty wide open, but when you start getting these leaves, you 
need some guy to come out and do uh, about nine miles of uh, weed blowing. Burn. <laughs> All right, so we're still youth and uh, adults. I'm still bleeding, but it's dry. Oh, what well, we got? Oh. All right, so we're cruising back across the road. So we're gonna get back on the, uh, the micros here. I was gonna say, getting down to the end of the year, it just seemed like it started. All of a sudden, uh, we're in October. We're gonna get into a crazy election year, and Thanksgiving, gun season, then Christmas. It just seems like we had Christmas. Yeah, this Christmas is gonna be different. Last year, you know, Colby was still at home, and then. We didn't know that was going to be the last Christmas she was going to be with us, so, um, but it's going to be cool. She's got to have a kid, you know, and, uh, well, she already had to kid, I should say, she will have it at her house. So, uh, start new, uh, Christmas traditions. All right, this looks like a little fresh cut section. Up this hill. So right there at the road crossing, uh, oh, we got a log down. Um, adults, if you want to come and uh, watch your kids come up a hill and help them. It was very dry, just need a good running start. Like I said, off the start, you're already starting in, uh, you know, into the eight mile mark and then you'll bypass, um, you'll bypass the finish at start, on the start, and then you'll jump into it and then, uh, you know, so first lap's gonna be just a tad bit longer. Which my lap looks like it's gonna be. <laughs> After three misfits up on the, uh, up on, uh, Hell Mountain, Hell Hill, uh, as soon as Richie told me we were going back, I said, oh, no, you gotta be kidding me. I said, an easy way around? He said, nope. And I was like, ah, shit. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you can get up, it may take you a few times, it may even get better, you know, as the day progresses. So... Six, seven. Well, I think the seven mile mark is coming up. Maybe. Sometimes I'm mistaken. All right, yeah, there it is. Seven mile mark. All right, so uh, seven mile mark, you'll see the cemetery. If anybody can't make it up that hill, uh, we'll bury you over here. Yeah, we'll have a nice ceremony for you. Well, maybe have a nice ceremony for me. <laughs> All right, so this is a little bit off camera. It, it's hard to see what's underneath there. I'm, I'm thinking shit and stuff, but uh, like I said, I still need to put a new front tire on my bike and uh, a new back tire would be nice. But, uh, you know, can't have everything you want. Alright, so, uh, alright, so it's a hard ride in this grass. A lot of grass, a lot of, uh, fresh, you know, cut through sections that have grown up. A little creek crossing. Seemed like it had a nice base. So another spot you guys may want to come out to. Watch your kids. Nice little beautiful spot down here. I say that about every track. I guess it's just nature in general. I grew up surfing, but I spent all my summers back here. I just 
to the woods. Across the hillside, a little off camber. Some roots. section in about the seven and a half it's got a little axis lap you'll bypass the finish then bypass the start come around this little uh, half mile or so section and then we'll end up back at the finish end, which you'll see so hope you guys enjoy thanks again to Rich, Sarah uh, whole Mountain State crew don't forget Saturday. Saturday is uh, bikes. Sunday is ATVs. They will have the P Dub, which is not Power Wheels, it is the real P Dub Yamaha's. That they'll be, uh, that they'll be uh, racing for the kids, which will be on like the SpaceX track. And um, some of those speed dubs, they have a hard time, especially like this track, a couple of hill climbs, they probably have a hard time if they get a running start. Um, and then the Stay Six, you know, that'll be after the uh, Saturday uh, 1230 uh, bike race. So, but yeah, appreciate you guys. I hate getting down to the end of the season. And uh, like I said, we'll just have to see what's going on next year. And, uh, Saturday.